All right, guys, so I've got a trailer here that I need to get out. We're going to cut this bad boy up, and we're going to take it to the scrap yard. Um, as you can tell, I turned this thing into an absolute pretzel with my skidster. So this used to be a mobile home that was sitting right here, and, I mean, we tore it down in, like, no time at all. About 24 hours, this thing was done. Uh, really less than that. Just the cleanup work is what took a lot longer than the actual demo itself you have got to you know pick up all the trash and stuff that gets spread throughout on a windy day but this thing was a lot of fun you should actually check out the entire video of me tearing it down it's one of the last videos i posted so go look it up on the the channel if you haven't seen it already but this whole field over here was just absolutely overgrown with brush there's some of it right there that's one tree and then some of the brush that was too big for the brush hog on the skidster but this was all skidster work we had it done in no time uh, we cleared out this area, which was actually just full of mattresses and trash and junk. And, I mean, there were concrete blocks everywhere. It actually took quite a bit of time to get those, you know, picked out so we wouldn't hit them with the brush mower. But after that, all that's really left is, uh, you know, this frame. We're going to tear, or the owner's going to have this torn down later. Uh, I was kind of excited to tear it down, but there are some utilities and stuff that need to be kind of addressed. There's some plumbing pipes coming out of the bottom, and it stinks a lot and there's also um, some electrical lines that look like they might be coming from underneath so i basically told them you know you can literally tear this down by hand in a matter of minutes so you really don't need the skid here for it but what we're going to do is we're going to make a few cuts on this i'll kind of show you what my game plan is and then after we get it cut up i'm going to go grab the skidster and then from there i'm just going to load it up real quick into the back of my dumpster and we're going to get on the road that way this project is pretty much uh, done I can invoice them and we can uh, call this one a wrap So if you've ever seen any kind of a trailer basically ever what you got is you've got your outside uh, Beam which is typically a lot thicker Than your interior these things are very soft to be honest when I picked it up with the skidster I could basically just toss it around and you know hit the bucket right about here and I would break it off that made it really easy for me to then basically disassemble all the boards and everything on it without even having to get out of the tractor. So now that I've done that, the only problem is it's still held together by this axle, and that axle, and then up here you've got some much sturdier metal, which we need to cut through to basically separate this into sections that will fit into that dumpster. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a couple cuts through these larger pillars on the outside. That way we can get through them. And then what I'll also do is I'll probably cut off these u-bolts that way we can actually just take the axle off and we don't have to really worry about anything else we could probably even fold this in half and fit it all into that dumpster so there's no plugs out here so i brought one of these it's a pretty cheap ryobi and then i made sure to get one of the bigger 18 volt batteries and pack it with me i've got about four or five batteries in case i need them but i'm gonna be meticulous on what i'm gonna cut so in case all my batteries die i'm not stranded out here with only half the job done so i'm gonna be very careful on what i just decided to cut so that i can fit it into there Like I said, this is cheap. These things are not very expensive. It's not a, you know, Milwaukee or a 40 volt battery, but it's what I had in my garage and that's what I grabbed. So two cuts, less than about a minute of work so far. We'll get the other ones and then we'll move on to the actual frame. Since I knew that I was using a light duty saw, I went out and got one of these Diablo blades. I actually got two of them. I'll grab the next one in a second. But I'm telling you guys, these Diablo things, they are made with such good quality because I, you know, buy the cheap ones every once in a while. And I always just kind of kick myself that I don't get one of these because they just make the job a lot easier. They just cut well and they last way longer than your typical blade. At least that's what I've seen. You can drop in the comments if you have any other brands that you use that you prefer, but. I don't mind these one bit. All right, I switched to another one. This one's made for a little bit thicker metal. And what I'm doing is I just started on it, but I found a, a bend in the frame where I, you know, tweaked it. That way I had a good entry point. Oh, battery number one. I'm 
actually going to leave a little bit of, you know, the metal down there. So when I pick it up with the grapple, it should separate because really what I don't want to do is cut all the way through this. And you, like I said, it's all bent up like a pretzel. If this has any like tension in it, I don't want it to swing out and hit me in the leg or something. So I'm just going to kind of leave it right there and see when I pick it up, if I can just break it. The coolest thing about this demo job is I'm not actually near my home. So the owner, who is a good friend of mine, actually let me keep my skidster on site and all the tools I would need to actually do this job. So I didn't have to haul it back for the last three or four days while I worked on this. So super big perk of doing this job, honestly.
ruin the tree. All right, before anybody says anything, this tree is getting cut down, so it's not ruined. That's why I used it as a surface to bend all that metal, but yeah, don't go in the comments and rip me for destroying a tree. The thing is, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, you should have got this type of saw or that type of torch or whatever to cut this, and that does seems really inefficient with your skidster. I don't know, doing it with the skidster super fast. Um, this is only taking a few minutes after I made those two initial cuts, plus taking off the U-bolts. And at the end of the day, guys, I'm using the resources I have. It's overkill to use the skidster at all, really, but it is helpful to load it. But I, I spent $6 on blades with a saw that I already had, and I cut all this up. I wasn't gonna go out and buy myself a brand new metal saw, you know, one of those big ones that you use, but it's working. Use the resources you have and just make it happen. I'm gonna do a little tidying up over here and then we're gonna hit the scrapyard and we're gonna see how much we get for this trailer. Just like that, she's gone. Well, that doesn't look normal. All right, so we got it right here. Uh, Scrapping is kind of one of those things that it's nice to do because I didn't have to put that metal into the landfill because I would have paid to actually get rid of that if I took it to the landfill. But instead, uh, I got to just scrap the metal and then they pay me a little bit. It's not that much, but it's better than paying to get rid of that kind of stuff. So take a guess at how much you think I actually made off of that one trailer and there was a tub in there. So I've got the number right here and the closest person to the dollar or $1 off, I will send you a t-shirt. So go ahead, throw your guesses in there. The winner gets a t-shirt and I will tag that person and pin the comment to the top so you guys know when somebody's won. Best of luck and I hope to see you guys on the next video and I hope you decide to subscribe so you can see future content. See you next time.